particular flyby. Lack of warning may lead to near-Earth asteroids hitting our planet, an astronomer warns. This is on Sputnik News. Huge space rock with a surprisingly positive name of 2019 OK whizzed by the other day and has been linked to uh, other near-Earth incidents that are already part of history, the Tunguska event in Siberia in 1908 and the Chelyabinsk meteor of 2013. Nobody saw these coming in whatsoever. Now, the one that came in, the 2019 OK, flew over from southwest uh, direction towards northeast, and it flew over the northern part of the U.S. over Lake Erie, crossing the Canadian border into Ontario, and slammed in there. And no one saw this coming. There was no warning. And thank goodness it was small. It didn't cause any type of a, of a problem. Now, it appears that a large asteroid just snuck up on, the, on us this way, and the astro astronomers were hardly aware of it. They didn't see it coming. The sizable celestial body of about 57 to 130 meters, that's not small, it's uh, 187 to 427 feet in width, as per NASA's data, flew on Wednesday evening at a distance of about 45,000 miles from Earth. It's uncomfortably close to our planet, one astronomer shared with the Washington Post. Now, they're supposed to be able to catch this size objects. Most importantly, it was not one that astronomers had been tracking, although information had earlier surfaced that some asteroids would be passing relatively close to our planets. If asteroid 2019 OK had actually collided with the Earth's surface, the crash would have been had uh, would have had far-reaching devastating consequences, according to Michael Brown, who is the associate professor in astronomy at Monash University in Australia, according to the conversation. He said the lack of warning shows how quickly potentially dangerous asteroids can sneak up on us. He said while the asteroid is not a threat to Earth right now, other near-Earth asteroids of this kind could be. Another astronomer, Alan Duffy, a lead scientist at the Royal Institution of Australia, shared with the addition that there is a special nickname for such fly, a close flybys among the ranks of astronomers. They're called City Killer Asteroids. 2019 OK and other near-Earth asteroids do pose a real risk, astronomers argue, citing that the Tunguska explosion over Siberia in 1908 and the Chelyabinsk meteor that flew over Russia and uh, it, was, it burst in the air in 2013 both of which were equal to large nuclear explosions that could have led to irreparable damage and fatalities had they occurred in densely populated areas. Incidentally, the 2019 OK was far larger than the Chelyabinsk meteor, which measured no more than 20 meters across, but damaged 7,200 buildings and collapsed roofs and shattered windows. 2019 OK was actually tracked down but at too short notice by the SONAR survey on Wednesday, and then it was independently mapped by the ASASSN telescope network with all the systems using small telescopes. Although prior to its discovery as a near-Earth asteroid, 2019 OK was imaged by other telescopes, the scale of potential damage was not recognized, but the earlier images did help researchers nail down its elliptical orbit. According to Professor Brown, there are certain ways to do something about an asteroid potentially taking a collision course, but this is only possible when the notice is not so short. For instance, there are ongoing missions to near-Earth asteroids like Bennu, this is the image that we have here, this is asteroid Bennu, and Ryugu, which are looking into slightly changing their velocity. Just by one kilometer per hour over years, that adds up to thousands of kilometers, difference in position, Brown noted. In other words, uh, the asteroid, the NASA asteroid missions, for example, uh, are to try and nudge an asteroid out of its path, out of its trajectory, 
just a little bit so that it does not have a, an earth impact collision course. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.